let's go again to our God tools. So let's proceed to teach me to share. Prepare for the conversations you want to have about Jesus. How do I share my faith? That's the question. How do I share my faith? Whether it's the first time or the twentieth time, we know that sharing your faith can bring feelings of uncertainty and anxiety. How do I begin? How will they respond? Will I say the right thing? As you go through, teach me to share your you learn how to get started in having this important conversation. How do I get started? Remember, God is with you. So, focus on God. It all starts with God. He is the Almighty One who loves people and created us to know Him. He is the one who changes hearts. He invites us to be his ambassadors and to share with others who he is. He loved us first. And if it is out of his love that we want to share his good news with others. So where to begin? With a faith-filled focus on God, Abide in Him as you share, and listen for guidance from the Holy Spirit. Pray. Talk with God about your desire to share and about the people He puts in your heart. Define success. Successfully, sharing your faith isn't about making someone believe. It's taking the initiative to share the gospel in the power of the Holy Spirit and leaving the results to God. You've got this. How do I help? Do I help make it a good experience? How do we share with someone can make a big difference? Here are some tips that can help your conversation go smoothly. This will become more natural with time, so don't feel like you need to have it all mastered to get started. First is listen. As you are having your conversation, it's important to listen for understanding. Make sure you are not just waiting for your turn to speak, but really seeking to understand their story and point of view. People can sense if you have an agenda. Value getting to know them. Be empathetic. Use telephone language. Um, yes, okay. And body language. Lean forward. Make eye contact. Not to communicate that you are engaging with what they are saying. Ask clarifying questions that help you understand their responses and also to find out if they are talking with you. Be authentic. Share honestly from your own life using everyday language. Explain in your own words how God has changed your life. Sharing your experience of God can be a powerful testimony as people are seeking for what works in the life more than just objective truth. Practice. Feeling more comfortable when sharing your faith comes with practice. As you become more familiar with these conversations, your confidence will grow and so will your ability to speak naturally. You will learn by doing. If you feel like you, you, sa you said 
the wrong thing or missed on opportunity that is okay learn and adjust for next time and remember that the results are in god's hands you don't have to get it perfect in order for god to use it and my speech and my message will not in plausible words of wisdom but in demonstration of the spirit and of power so that your faith might not rest in the wisdom of men but in the power of god first corinthians 2 4 to 5 respond lovingly Approach your conversation with a non-competitive attitude. You are not trying to win an argument. No matter how someone responds, treat them with respect and make it safe for them to express their beliefs, even if they differ from yours. Conflict can actually give you an opportunity to learn more about the other person don't let it scare you away let it move you toward them with a desire to understand where they are coming from if you don't know an answer to a question that they ask be honest and tell them you don't know research and get back to them God's goods their interest and don't per force more than they are ready to hear let your conversation always be full of grace seasoned with salt so that you may know how to answer everyone colossians 4 6 i can do that what do i say Speak from humble posture. Express a desire to talk about spiritual things and ask for permission. While you don't have to follow any of the examples word for word, below are some ideas of how to start a conversation. Pick one and practice it with a friend. These examples refer to using the God tools app, but you can substitute for whatever tool you are using. Co-worker, meet Simon. Simon had several many spiritual conversations with his co-worker David. He has seemed pretty interested, but Simon has never been able to sit down and explain his faith clearly. Hey David, I've really enjoyed the conversations we've had and wanted to share a little more with you about what I believe. I have this app on my phone that explains it well and I'd love to get your opinion on it. Can we look at it together? lunch at lunch today friend slash family meet Sarah she cares so much about her brother and doesn't really know what he thinks about God hey Paul I know you know that God is really important in my life but I don't actually know what you think about him I'd love to know a little more would you be willing to share with me? Paul shares. Sarah replies. Thanks so much for sharing. I have this great app that explains really clearly about what belief. May I share it with you? I'd love to hear your thoughts about it. Spiritually interested person. Meet Jose. Jose has a feeling that his friend Monica is interested in spiritual things. Hey Monica, I've been thinking lately 
It seems like you are interested in spiritual things. I have an app on my phone that shares a bit about the Bible. I'd love to share it with you sometime and hear what you think about it. Or knowing God in a personal way has really changed my life. I know there are different thoughts about what it means to be a Christian. But for me, it's all about a personal relationship with Jesus. I have an app on my phone that talks more about what that means. Could we go through it together? A group outreach event. Today, we are talking with people about what it means to know God in a personal way. I have an app on my phone that talks more about that. And I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. Would that be okay? Others to try. After sharing a bit of your story, at that time in my life, my friend shared with me how I can know God in a personal way. Would you be up for, a, for hearing a bit about it? I'd love to hear your thoughts. I found this app. I like the talks about knowing God. I want to share about it with you because it's important to me and I care about you. We've never had this conversation before, but I wanted to. Can I show it to you? I'd love to hear what you think. I realize that I've never told you what I believe. And I'd really like to share that with you. I have an app that helps me explain my faith. Can I share it with you? If you could know God in a personal way, would you want to? Yes, I'd love to share with you how you can, you can and you can let me know what you think. Now I have some ideas. Which tool should I use? Which tool I should I use? The God Tool app has different tools for different purposes. Six of the tools described below are specifically designed to share the gospel. Choose one and become familiar with it. First is knowing God personally. This tool has original artwork that illustrates four main points of the gospel message. The language and soon in, is informal. Four spiritual laws. This is the original gospel sharing tool that crew developed. It has been updated with red, yellow, black, green, and blue watercolor images. The idea is that just as there are physical laws like gravity, there are spiritual laws. The four, this tool was developed in Europe. It uses four symbols, heart, division, cross, and question mark. To illustrate the gospel message in a visual, memorable way, it has the fewest words. Videos of the message are available on the 4.com. Knowing God personally, this soul was developed in the United States. The content is most similar to the four spiritual laws, but was updated to emphasize a relationship with God. It uses photographs instead of hand-drawn images. It has the fewest translation available. Honor Restored This tool was created in 2017 using a shame honor context. Simple stick Figures capture the feelings of shame, isolation, and restoration. It connects with people 
from shame based culture power over fear released in 2019 this soul is designed to talk about Jesus with those who come from cultures where talk of spirits and forces in more than norm. Use this to speak with those who live in fear of spiritual forces and long for fee peace. I've got more talk. Anything else I need to know? Knowing how the God Dolls app works ahead of time will free you up to focus on your conversation. Here are a few tips you can use the app effectively. Languages. God Dolls enables you to share with someone who speaks another language by toggling between the two languages inside a tool. In the home screen, Press the language icon in the upper right hand corner to access the language setting screen. Set your primary language. Set a secondary parallel language and head back to the home screen. Look for a tool that has been translated into both languages. For example, if you are sharing with someone who speaks Dutch, you'll want to use either the four spiritual laws or the four. Once inside the tool, you'll see the option to toggle between the languages. Navigation. Swipe left, right to translate to translation between screens. Use a swiping motion anywhere on the card to move between cards. Or you can tap the title of each card to open and close. Be aware that some cards contain more content and are scrollable. Share a link or screenshot. Whenever you go through a tool with someone, give them a chance to view it later by sharing a link with them. From inside a tool, use the share icon in the top right hand corner. This will send them a link to knowgod.com, which has the same content and in the same place where you left off. Or consider taking a screenshot inside one of the tools and sending it to friend as a way to start a conversation. Next, follow up. On the last screen of every tool, there is a link for additional resources. In some of the tools, there is an opportunity to sign up for, for follow-up after someone indicates a desire to trust Christ. Look for it behind a card that says, did you pray this prayer? This is where someone can input their email address to sign up for a free follow-up email service that comes from startingwithgod.com. You can sign up if you'd like to try it for yourself. I'm ready to give it a try. I'm ready to give it. Any other ways to start spiritual conversation? Different people are ready for different types of conversations. Try this as another way of opening a door to talk about faith with someone. Ask out of sincerity, curiosity, and love. Share your faith story. 
Sing to him, sing praises to him, tell of all his wondrous works. Psalms 105.2 God has changed our lives. He did it when we began our relationship with him, and he continues to do it as we walk with him. Sharing how God has changed our lives is a powerful way to let others know that God is real. Take time to learn to tell your story. You can share about how you became a Christian and learn to tell others every day your stories of ways you experience God. Find common ground and talk about how God has made a difference in that area of life for you. Christian testimony, everyday faith story. Share a short film. Share a short film. Okay. A video with someone can be a great invitation to start talking about spiritual things. Fallingplates.com is one that illustrates the gospel in the compelling way. Falling plates. You can find other short film to watch and share at the Jesus Film Project. HTTP www.jesusfilm.org slash what's that HTML. Under its video, there are discussion questions you can ask to help you continue your conversation with someone. These same short films are also in the Jesus Films project. Short films. Offer to pray for someone. Being a loving presence in someone's life is sometimes what people need in order to grow in openness towards spiritual things. As you live your everyday life, be aware of those around you and how you can express care for them or meet a need in their life. As God leads, you can offer to pray for someone as an expression of your care for them. Prayer example, I'm glad we got to talk a little bit today. You've got a lot going on right now. Would you be okay if I took a minute to pray for you now? Ask the sometime question. You know, that God is working in the life of every person. This question allows you to express your interest in knowing more about the spiritual part of a person's life. Consider asking this. Sometime, I'd like to hear about your spiritual journey. Would you be up for that? If you don't like the praising of spiritual journey, you can substitute it for something else like what you think about God or your faith background or your experience with Christianity. Set a time and have the conversation. Share an article. There is a tool in God's tool called Questions About God. It contains articles about common questions people ask about God. Jesus and life. You can use the share icon in the in the top right of any articles to post it on social media or text it to a friend. If not in the app. You can find these articles at everystudent.com. Something like I read this article on thoughts of you. I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. God, let's go! You can do this next step. Ask God for an opportunity to try it today. Let us know how it goes. Support at goddolls.com. 
How beautiful are the feet of those who bring good news. Romans 10.15 Go deeper. Go deeper. Want to go deeper in learning how to help others journey toward Christian Christ? Download the micro app for access to a 28-day devotional called Passages. Join others on their spiritual journey. It provides biblical motivation and training for sharing Christ with others. This will aid in breaking down walls and personal barriers to evangelism. Get started today by downloading the micro micro app and accepting the invitation so let's download this now it's downloading so that's all guys i will be sharing to you next time another